talk loud because uh, I've been making some videos and some of them are hard to hear and plus my car when I bought this car uh, one of the things that the review said was that uh, the cabin makes the cab the cabin this part the part you sit in uh, is noisy and man they weren't kidding it really is noisy I read somewhere else though that somebody took their doors off of their car and sprayed the inside of the door with some soundproofing foam and that made uh, made the cabin of their car really quiet. I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to all that trouble. I might just be getting a new car soon anyway. But uh, anyway, one of those things I would like to do but will probably never do. I have a bunch of those. I have about a hundred of those actually. Um, so this video is just a plea for money. I want your money. $2, $5, $20, $2,000. You know, my rule at some point in time, unfortunately I haven't been following this rule very closely, but at, at some point in time, my rule for spending money, okay, I came up with this rule and I loved it. It was great. I said, you know what? If I have to think about this, uh, if I have to think about spending this money, then I'm not going to spend it, period. I mean, that's like, that was awesome. That felt so good because I was never broke <laughs> and I'm always broke now. I've been broke like 90% of my life because it's just the way it is. Uh, and uh, that was awesome and that was an awesome rule. So that's kind of the way I, I, I do still kind of approach things that way. It's like if I have to think about it, it's like, no, I'm not going to do it. You know, and then I just, I just start from there. Lower, 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 lower. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You know, um, so maybe, maybe if you do something like that, that'd be good too. You know, that's why I say some people, $2, some people have to think about that because you know, that's just where they are. And I respect that. I understand that totally. Some people have to think about, some people don't have to think about $2. Okay. And that's, that's good. That means, you know, you know, you're doing a little bit better, you know? means your finances are under control. I guess you might say that. Because look, if you, if you have to think about $2, obviously your finances are, you're, you're in a crisis, right? $20, some people don't even have to think about that. And that's that's really good. I mean, that means your finances are really under control. Some people, $20, uh, you could have your finances under control, but just because your budget is what it is, you still have to think about $20. I mean, that's totally, totally respectable. Uh, you know, if you're making, uh, if you're making two hundred thousand dollars a year and you have to think about twenty dollars, well, okay, that means you're probably in some kind of a crisis, you know. But uh, anyway, some. But then again, on the other hand, some people two thousand dollars. People don't have to think about that. It's like they just, you know, they have to make a lot of money and their finances are, are under control. Two thousand, yeah, no problem. It's like, you know, it's like nothing, you know. So uh, whatever. That, that's kind of the rule that I would encourage everybody to have. Not only about me asking for money, but also for just in general. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful, uh, fr very freeing kind of, it just makes you feel very light, you know, and, and stress-free. But the uh, point of it is, the uh, point of this video is, I'm asking for your money because I want to do this uh, Big Brother, Big Sister event where we uh, get on top of a, uh, we go up on top of a 17-story building and we jump off, basically. It's rappelling. We're gonna rappel down the side. And the whole point of the event is to raise money for uh, the Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, organization. Uh, their goal for the event is $150,000, if I'm not mistaken. And they want everybody to raise uh, $1,500. I would like to raise $15,000, because just the way I'm wired, it might be wrong, it might be bad, it might be counterproductive, I don't know. But the way that I'm wired, it's like, I don't get excited about doing what I'm told to do. I get excited about doing, like, for example, 10 times what I'm told to do, you know? That, that really excites me. That, that's what really... So, and I also believe that it's possible. So, that's my goal to raise $15,000. So, if you can help me, uh, that'd be awesome. I'd be really grateful for that. Um, if not, uh, then uh, I totally understand, you know? I mean, I, I say a lot of really controversial, really confrontational things on uh, on social media and uh, you know I'm very like out there out front in people's face with my opinions and whatnot and so forth and I know that some people don't like that I, I know that some people find that very boorish you know 
very boorish and very uh, offensive. You know, I, I understand that. So I, I don't cons I don't look at it that way. I mean, but other people do, and I understand it. I don't think you should. I don't agree with it. But it is what it is, right? I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody how what they should or should not do. I just have my opinion about what I believe I should do or should not do. You know, so that's just my opinion on that subject. So if you could help me, that'd be awesome. Uh, I plan on now sending out a thousand uh, personal, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, personal, uh, you know, requests. Uh, doing all the social media stuff I could do. I rented a Fender a PA system. I can hook my phone up to and use it like a karaoke. You know, and I want to go down to downtown uh, Tampa where this event is going to take place and uh, do some stuff because I like to talk. So I want to do some monologues, maybe do read some stories from the Bible, maybe read some classical literature. I'm kind of, I, I enjoy doing like theatrical impersonations and, and stuff. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't say that I'm any good at it. I just like, I just enjoy it. So, uh, you know, stuff like that. Maybe I could sing some songs because you can plug your uh, phone into the system and use it like a karaoke system. Actually, I'm a, I, I subscribe to a karaoke app or website. Um, at least I used to. I don't know if I still do. I have to check that out. Of course, I can resubscribe. Uh, when my father was in the nursing home, I subscribed so that I could go and uh, sing some songs for him on his birthday. And uh, I hired this lady from the local uh, music school to come, and she helped me out. And she was really good. I wasn't so good, but she was really good. So I'm going to try to raise some money that way. So like I said, I'm trying to raise 10 times. Uh... And because uh, that's, uh, I'm gonna ramble here. I apologize, real quick. That's 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 my dream in life. It's my it's my dream. It's my dream. Okay. It's my dream to be paid uh, one tenth of what I'm worth. That's my dream. And it's my dream to live on one tenth of what I make. You know. So I'm in this ten thing. I'm my, I'm I'm in this ten kind of thing. Don't get me wrong. I want to have a great lifestyle. What I'm saying is I want to be really valuable. And uh, I want to live a very under, understated life that is understated with respect to, 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 to my ability, but that is really good nevertheless. So uh, you could call this 10 times fundraising event kind of like my inauguration kickoff event for this dream that I have uh, to be paid one tenth of what I'm worth. My boss heard that right now, he'd probably laugh. Because I'm probably paid 110 percent. I'm probably paid. How do you say? I'm probably paid double of what I'm worth. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. I hope. I hope. Uh, you know, that's not. That's stuff. That's, that's the opposite of my dream to be paid more than I'm worth. That, that's the opposite, right? I don't want to be paid more. Than, I, I. I want to be. You know, like, like it, when I say, if I have to think about spending a certain amount of money, then I know I don't think about that I don't want my I want my boss to look at my paycheck and say it's like it makes not only does it make total sense but it's like of course we're gonna pay this guy this he's worth so much more than this of course I mean that's that's I want to be a foregone conclusion you know on my line item on the expense report I want that line item to be a foregone conclusion it's like are you kidding me leave that on there this there's a bargain that's a bargain right there leave it there no we're not touching that you leave that right there that's my dream in life to be that valuable, right? Um, so, uh, so yeah. So that's it. All right. Uh, God bless everybody. Thank you for thank you for your support. And uh, let's do this thing. All right. Okay. Bye. Oh, by the way, if you want to do this, I know that they have some more spots open. If you actually want to do the repelling thing. Uh, Go to, I think it's BBBS, Big Brother, Big Sister, BBBS.TampaBay.org, maybe, or BBBS, yeah, I think that is it, actually, BBBS.TampaBay.org. If you can't find it like that, uh, look it up, you know, Google it or whatever, search engine, I use DuckDuckGo, but uh, <clears throat> actually it's BBBS.TampaBay.org forward slash O-T-E. O-T-E stands for over the edge. BBBS.TampaBay.org forward slash O-T-E. Okay, God bless. Bye.